documents you recovered at Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Yeah, I bet he's big into underground movements. <laughs> oh, you're good. That was very good. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Pay attention! Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. This city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic. Like reading a pop-up book. Okay. Locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orinchov. Then squeeze. Hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! Ministry gets that East Hyde Park tunnel filled in, the better. Rogues, ruffians, scallywags, the place is a magnet for undesirables of every kind. Those suits claim to be from the Albion Tube Corporation, but they were all speaking with foreign accents. And that haunting aroma of beets. Says Lenin, but my mind says Trotsky.
kill person. is technically silent. You will die now. Go now, before I shoot you. You shall be dead. And I am a hero. What? Infamous Agent Orange job. Look, Ivan, I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance and you tell me what I wanna know? You got another thing coming.
Chicken Kiev. What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that. Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. Do I know you, teabag? No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes, very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we?
I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure. What the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. <laughs> okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's. Although, in her case, the service is secret. I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. Okay. So I I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. These bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of Valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. Yeah, ah, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch, then. Splendid. Must dash. Show yourself. Little Them. green peasants! What's shaking, Ponzi? This ain't just a social call, is it? I'm afraid not. I'm relieved to see you, sir. The Soviets appear to be up to some mischief. What kind of mischief are we talking about? Because uh, if she says she's 18, you can't just call her a liar. 
No, no. The Soviet ambassador is throwing a party for the opening of an exhibit of Russian modern art. Frankly, it's making me a bit nervous. A number of Albion's VIPs are in attendance. You know, I'm starting to worry about you, Ponzi. You're getting a twitch. What exactly is it you're scared's gonna happen? I, I don't know. That's what's worrying me. Mainly, I'm worried about all those VIPs. MPs, captains of industry, all gathered in one place. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Thank God I managed to dissuade Her Majesty from attending. That could have been a real cluster of, um... Ouch. My virgin ears. So, what? You want me to get over there, rough the ambassador up a little? Dear Lord, no. I just need you to mingle with the crowd and check it out. Incognito, as it were. Okay, I'll get a disguise. Wouldn't want my pretty mug to ruin anybody's appetite. So, modern art, huh? Jackson Pollock pees on a canvas and sells it for 50 grand. I don't get it. Ha! Huh. Oh, you're serious? Well, I suppose it takes something of an educated eye to make sense of it. Educated eye? What a crock! I don't need a master's in art history to know what I like. No, no, of course not. But as modern art has become more abstracted, it helps to understand the conceptual framework the artist had in mind. You realize the player's in the kitchen making nachos at this point, right? Well, you did that whole Blue Rider thing in the first game. I, I just thought perhaps... I know, I know. Lead Balloon City. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, Smokey. I'll go grab a disguise and mingle with the in crowd. Excellent. I'll stay in radio contact in case you need me. Yes? people about now is it the fine good to see Heavens these boots my head your wish is my command
Inside this one. Away from I won't shag you, don't ask. I am not a fan of the I say, <laughs> that gave me quite a fright. Shoot the humans all you want, spaceman, but you're only treating the symptoms. You want to get the disease, you have to shoot the spores. Let's throw ya! Cupcake. Always nice to meet a chick who can handle her guns. You got a name? The name is Natalia. I'm here to help you, spaceman. Or do you prefer Mr. President? Mr. What the? Does everybody on this dismal freaking island know who I am? Da, pretty much. At least everyone in my line of work. Oh. So you work for Ponsonby? Yet. Although after this little incident, I may have to ask him for a job. I worked for the Komatet Gosu Darstvenoi Bezupeznosti. Why? You make pasta? I'm a secret agent with the KGB. So you're a secret agent, huh? Cause I got a package that needs delivering. Your eyes only, big. I have three knives hidden on my body, and I'm blindingly lethal with all of them. Now concentrate. Ooh, I think I'm in love. Hmm, what the hell do you think was in those statues? Hard to say. It's listed in official documents as Goshniev Krupp. Sounds tasty. Mmm. It loosely translates as either an incredibly lethal biological weapon or a quasi-legal performance enhancer for the Soviet Olympic team, depending on the context. Why the hell would you turn your back on your own species to hook up with an alien invader from outer space? First, we are not hooking up. And second, why would I trust a Furon over a KGB apparatchik? Because everything's gone bizumnye. The bullet bureau spitting out orders that don't make any sense. My colleagues transforming into irradiated monsters. All hell is breaking loose. 
Something's happening. Something very, very wrong. And I think I'm the only person on Earth who knows it. But not anymore. Eh, Tovarish? So, what is it? Some kind of mutagen? Because I don't know what mutants are supposed to look like, but... Actually, no. It's a spore. It infects a host through inhalation or skin contact. But, after a brief incubation period, it seems to set about genetically rebuilding the victim into something... not human. You think somebody engineered it for the purpose? You have a better explanation? I'm just trying to put all the pieces together. At first, I thought it was being made here, but now I'm not so sure. Bojomoy! The schedule's been moved up. They're about to shower these abominable spores all over the city. You take the Hyde Park infestation. I'll handle the ones in Soho. And Spaceman, good hunting, huh? She's right. You must hurry to Hyde Park and kill all infected humans at once. We must allow this pandemic to spread. My men have marked locations for four similar statues in Hyde Park. These should be your first port of call. Don't mess with me. <laughs>
Hiya, hot stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. So what's the buzz, baby? Tell me what's a happening. I'm so glad you asked, baby. I have to meet my contact, Agent Sergei. He says he's got vital information for me. Unfortunately, he fears they may be onto him, so he and I can't be seen together. And I should care because... I'm not exactly KGB Employee of the Month, Crypto. They may well have a hit squad out looking for me. Before I make contact with Sergei, anyone on my tail must be shaken or eliminated. Oh, I'll stick to your tail, all right. I figured. Although you do stand out in a crowd, better get the disguise. Ah. Soho's like on the other side of the river and stuff. It's a hell of a long way from here. How about we take a cab? I'll pay. Yet. Not enough maneuverability in case of trouble. Come on, Crypto. It'll be fun. Besides, how often does a girl invite you out on a date to destroy some humans? Date, huh? Don't get greedy. About this hit squad, in my experience, KGB men aren't exactly subtle. But this ain't Russia. Do they really think Ponzinby let them start a war in the streets? You might be surprised. Reginald doesn't shy away from interagency scuffles. He's had a price on my head for years. Reginald? Wait a minute. Are you telling me both sides are gonna be trying to kill us? Da, pretty much. This inside man of yours, what's he found that's worth risking his life to get to you? Sergei feels as I do. That someone or something has perverted the KGB and even the Soviet government. And people who ask why have had a troubling tendency to disappear. Hmm, Soviet dissidents disappearing. You're right, that is weird. Look, can you really trust this guy, Sergei? I mean, how do we know he's not playing both sides? I trust him implicitly. Sergei and I, we have a history. Uh-oh. Look, not that I wouldn't love to ride your tail to Soho, but I just don't get why you need me to play bodyguard. Have you any idea how many KGB agents there are in Albion right now? All because of you. Given all the heat you've brought down on my investigation, it's the least you can do. So let's say I help you out. What's in it for me? Aside from your bewitching company, of course. A piece of your mothership. Sergei has agreed to procure it for you in exchange for your help in this matter. How does that sound? Like a gas, although I would have done it for your company. Let's go. Stay with me, spaceman. You're not here for sightseeing. Get out with it! Do it. KGB agents, dead ahead! Forget these moodlons! Let's keep moving! Wait! We've been spotted! Get ready, Crypto! <laughs> <laughs> No! 
You're such a gentleman, Crypto. Walking me to my car? Your car? Oh, wait a minute. Well, what about your pal Sergei? You said he was meeting us here. Oh, no. Sergei's in Canal Side. I just needed to be certain we'd shaken off any KGB tales. But the coast looks clear. This would be an excellent time to call your saucer. My saucer? You didn't say anything about my saucer. What do you need that for? Because you won't be able to keep up with me on foot once I start driving, silly. Besides, the KGB will surely bring out their heavy artillery soon, so you may want to even the odds with a little air support. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I get it. You just want me for my saucer. And your bewitching company. What about what I was after? It's been arranged. 
A piece of your spaceship has been hidden nearby. Here are the coordinates. Okay, okay. Just give me a second to get it here. Thank you, Tovarish. I'll wait for you to take off.
So that's her contact. Smarmy looking bastard. Damn it, Crypto Focus. She's just a chick. A human chick. You barely know her. A hideous, repulsive human chick who smells really good. No, no, focus, damn it. I found what I was after. Just thought I'd say goodbye. I might not see you for a while. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not to get yourself killed. At least, not too often. Mmm, yowza. Morning, Pons and B. You rang? Hmm? This better be good. I was this close to second base with Princess Margaret. I appreciate your coming on such short notice, sir. This is of the greatest importance. Important to who? Me or you? To both of us, I think. We should whisper in case of surveillance. It concerns... What was... so, so sleepy? You... I'll... Uh, uh. <laughs> Lower life forms, when will they ever learn? Ah, 
My head feels like Tiny Tim just whacked me with a ukulele. What happened? Oh, good. You're back with us again. I trust you're comfortably tipsy. How do you feel? What the hell is going on around here? Who the hell are you people? Right, let's try four cc's of Demerol. Switch circuits to level three and prepare the encephalogram. <laughs> now, I want you to tell me all the good things you remember about your mother. Mommy. No, Mommy. Not the hot iron again. I'll be good. I promise. Subject is fighting the effects of the serum. Perhaps another approach would be more effective. Examining your weapon's power sources, Cryptosporidium. We're all quite curious as to how the stored MU phase pulse is channeled in the first place. Ah, keep it up, Ponsonby. That barrier can't stand up against my uh, psychokinesis forever. And when it goes, oh, pow, to the moon, Ponzi! Clearly deranged. Fina Barbital will put an end to that mischief. We know you have it. Tell us where it is. Tell us! Or it's the Ludovico treatment for you. Eyelids peeled back. Excruciating torture. Endless hours of Ludwig van. Uncle Orthopox, he said I'm not supposed to talk to strange life forms. Good. Calibration complete. Now then, get some rest, Cryptosporidium. We can continue in the morning. Attention! Attention! Security breach in access facility. Codes Crowbarty, Dogger, and Finister are in force. Repeat. <coughs> what was... Attention. what was all that about? Oh, my freaking head. This gas is noxious. It smells like Pox's underwear. Don't ask me how I know that. Hey, hey, what the? Ah, uh, damn dirty apes! Where the hell am I? You're in the abscessed mental reconditioning facility under the streets of Albion. Looks like I got here just in time. Now come on, spaceman. Move your ass! I don't get it. Why are you helping me? Because I know now. You're the only one I can trust. Anyway, who else is going to rescue you? Yes, but then be of service. Yeah, that's a good one. 
That's not ah, nice. Hold him with Fox, man, I have never been so glad to see you. Actually, I've never been glad to see you, but I am now. Serves you right for trusting a human. What in the musky name of our food will happen down there? Well, I, uh, I ran into a little static with Pons and me. Nothing major. Little wham-bam, thank you, ma'am, and he was history, and I was out of there. Is that so? Then why didn't I hear you shooting back at him? Moronic monkeys. Probably took the rifle apart to wipe their monkey butts with. Or study. Looks like they tried cracking it open with brute force, and succeeded only in breaking it. Well, have no fear. This I can fix. I expected I'd find you here. You're quite sporting, Crypto, and I do admire your spirit. But at some point, one simply has to face the fact that the other man's won. Of course, you couldn't know who you're up against, M16, or perhaps I should say, Majestic Command, 16th Sector. By the way, I have you surrounded. Take off now, and my surface-to-air launchers will destroy you and your precious saucer. The only way you'll leave here alive is in my custody. Come now, there's no need for any unpleasantness. It's undignified. It's beneath us. You've lost fair and square. Now be a man and show a little sportsmanship. There's a good fellow.
We finally did it. M16 was all there was left. The last of the majestic agencies. All the others. The French. The Mongolian station. The Argentinians. Every one of them. Destroyed by... <coughs> aliens. That last round must have scrambled your synapses. I only took down the American Majestic. Silhouette's Majestic. You? <laughs> you cosmic egomaniac. You think this is all about you? <laughs> oh, the irony. Beaten by a solipsistic simpleton from space. <laughs> you actually believe you're the only... <laughs> the only... What? Leave it alone, Crypto. The man was in the throes of a violent demise and clearly not in his right mind. Now you've had your fight, can we please just go?